What I'm about to talk about applies to all players, of course. But today's tactics is discussing what I feel are the top three reasons new players die that with a little discipline are entirely preventable. I reviewed hundreds of fights over dozens of hours, cataloging the seven most common causes of death. I then tallied up the numbers to find the three most common mistakes that kill bigger players. Yes, I did. Definitely not tedious. Definitely not incredibly boring. A lot of hours went into the front end of making this one. So if you could, I'd appreciate a like, a share, a follow, or maybe even just tell me I spent too much time on this game. Whatever floats your boat. Welcome to Norway. You are in the drop zone and I am Jealous Fist. Yes, I am. And today we're talking tactics, which allow you to outthink, outplay, and outperform your opposition. The third most common mistake that I see all players, but new players especially, committing is attacking out of cover. And what do I mean by that? I define this as choosing to initiate combat out of and away from good hard cover when the attacker had every opportunity to attack from the safety that that aforementioned good hard cover affords. Now, why you shouldn't do this? For one, it's not safe. You want cover. You want cover near you when you're attacking somebody. If you're initiating the combat, you want that good hard cover right next to you so that if you miss your first initial shots, you can hop back into cover and have something shielding you from all that returning fire of the guy that you just attacked. If you're not behind cover or near it when you initiate contact, if you miss, he's just going to turn and spray you down. And if you missed those initial shots, just assume that he's going to be better than you and that he will ultimately just burn you right down into the ground. You want good hard cover. What if you're a great shot? You're thinking, jealous, I'm a fantastic shot. I always miss my, I always land my shots. Well, you probably are, but you still, you still cannot guarantee that's going to work. This game is laggy, right? I mean, not trying to be mean to the devs or anything, but this is a free game with free servers and they are not the greatest. I don't know how many times where I've initiated combat with a guy and I had him dead to rights and then out of nowhere I'm rubber banded back seven to ten meters a hundred meters that's happened even you want any little bit of insurance to protect you um, it seems obvious but people do this mistake all the time when possible just have good hard cover around you to fire from around and behind or to be able to jump back into a warm protective embrace common mistake number two camping death traps this is fairly straightforward as well um i define this as waiting in a spot that either prevents you from repositioning if your trap fails or so exposed it's nearly impossible for your enemy to not hit you if you miss your shots what does that mean think of it like this you're attacking in a square three sides of that square are closed in and you are pointing your gun out through the open end of the square. You shoot your gun, bang, bang, bang. You miss, he's shooting at you. You are now then trapped within those three boundaries of that square. The only way out that you have is forward, which is also towards your enemy. Don't fire from spots that will get you killed if you miss your shots. You need to have an exit strategy or a place in mind to fall back to, or just good freedom of movement to get away if and when the attack fails. And this being bigger, 80% of the time when you're trying to ambush somebody or camp somebody, it just doesn't work out. Just like in real life, there's too many variables, there's too much stuff going on in this game. Be smart, you need to be able to have the freedom of movement to get away if you miss. Or you're like, again, jealous, I'm a great shot, I never miss. Well, this is a multiplayer game. There are more people than the one guy that you're taking a shot at now in solos, right? There's other players around, you can get third partied. Or if you're in teams or playing Lone Wolf, you're gonna have a team teammate, a duo, a trio around nearby, you need to have somewhere to escape to or just options. Don't trap yourself. Don't get boxed into a corner. And finally, the number one cause of death to new bigger players, in my opinion, is running in straight lines. You would think this would seem obvious to people after playing for more than a few days. I uh, personally figured this out after you know, a few days, something like that. Moving, running, and traveling in a straight line to a destination when not actively engaged in a fight is something you should not do. If, if you can, if you're able. Again, everything that I say in this video or any other of my videos, there's always exceptions to the rule, right? But in order to be brief and, you know, just have clarity to what we're talking about here. Just assume that it's almost never a good idea to run in a straight line. Uh, later on, as you play more, get more experience, play a lot of games, you'll know times when there are exceptions to the rules. Generally, 
If you're watching this video for advice, try to just remember to almost never run in straight lines. This was actually the most surprising mistake to find. I have clip after clip of this. Um, I had to stop setting aside clips of this to the side. I had to stop putting clips of this to the side because I just had so many examples of this. Think in your mind of all the times you were running, say, in a field on Valley, right? You're by the church on Valley to the south of the church, right? Around the hay bales, all that. You're just running, running. You're about to go get that iodine, the caffeine, out of Queen Forsythia's church here on Valley. You're excited, and then, boom, you hear that one crack of a rifle, and your game is over. And you're like, I didn't have a chance to fight back. How frustrating is that, right? I hate that. Well, just don't run in a straight line. It is incredibly easy to hit you when you're running in a straight line. Just look at these clips I'm showing. All it takes to kill you if you're running in a straight line is somebody to just put the reticle of their weapon a little in front of you and pull that trigger. It's almost as easy as hitting somebody sitting still, especially if they're at a distance, oddly enough. It can be a little easier to hit them moving uh, laterally to you when they're running from a distance sometimes just because of the uh, bullet travel time and lag and all of that stuff. Often when we die in Norway, it's not for a seemingly simple reasons that in retrospect are obvious, right? You went left instead of right. You used a mortar when you should have used a grenade. You entered the barred house through the front door. Maybe it would have been a better idea to go through the back. These are all things that are debatable and are what ifs, right? Well, these three mistakes that I just previously laid out are not up for debate, right? I know that sounds cocky, but these are just three things that anybody with a couple of months under their belt could agree with. Most people will argue with anything on the internet, right? And they will, as I am want to say, right? But running in straight lines to be just shot in the head from 100 meters away. Camping a bad spot and shooting at somebody when you have no way to get away. Initiating combat, attacking out of cover, attacking in the wide open. These are all things that everyone can basically agree that you should not do. If you can have the discipline and intentional acceptance in your mind while you're playing to avoid running in straight lines, to not camp death traps, to not attack people in the wide open, your survival rate will increase, your loot will increase, your guns will increase, your wins will increase. And you know what? Your friends will increase. All these beautiful Norwegian men and women, whatever you're into, they're going to want to come over to your fully upgraded shelter, and it will be fully upgraded because you're going to live a lot more after watching this video. They're going to want to come to your shelter, hang out. They're going to want to eat your lutefisk. They're going to want to shoot your cool tomato pattern guns because you're getting even more airdrops, yellow airdrops. You're going to have everything because you're not running in straight lines. You're not getting killed in death traps, and you're not shooting at people when you're in the wide, wide open, and they all can see you. And one more thing. What is that right there? What is that? Oh, that is a battle pass free for Xbox. And I will be randomly be putting free codes for battle passes in these videos for Xbox players until I run out. So if you're a broke Norwegian and you don't have this battle pass, or you have friends that don't have the battle pass, well, tell them to start watching the videos because we're going to start giving them out. Because I love this game, I love Norway, and I love all her Norwegians. And as always, I am your number one airdrops retreat, 11,000 and counting, all time, all systems, and your favorite official Vigor partners, favorite official Vigor partner, Jealous Fist. Bye.